be doing a book review video. I only have one, six books, and one of the books, well, two of the books I really didn't care for that much. So let's just get right into it. So the first book I'm going to show you is the next book in the Chesapeake Shore series. I don't know what number it is. Oh, excuse me. It's called An O'Brien Family Christmas. And Chesapeake Shores comes on on the Hallmark Channel. And these books do not go along with the storyline of the series, so you guys know. So if you watch the series and then you read the books, it's not going to spoil any spoil anything for you. This is by Cheryl Woods, and I actually got this book um, from my Harlequin Rewards. You know, like those little... Um, books and then you can get points for them. I got that from that and you need like, I think it's like, I don't even remember how much points they are per book and I got this from that because I could not find this book and I was like, I do not want to wait for it to come out for Christmas to read it. I wanted to finish the series. So this is what it looks like again and it's about all the O'Brien family go to Ireland because um, in the last book, I forget what the last book was called because it's been so long since I read it, was one of the cousins got married and she was really um, sick. She had cancer and when she got better, they wanted to go on a honeymoon and they wanted to go all together. So they decided to go to Ireland. So this is where the second book, this book, picks up. Where they're all in Ireland and their grandmother finds um, this man that she remembers when she was a child in Ireland. And she wants to try to get along with him and her son doesn't want to. Her son wants to say, you know, you're older, you don't need a man anymore, you know, you've been on your own for a long time, while this other O'Brien, um, wants to get together with this other woman that he meets in Ireland, and she's debating on whether she wants to be with him or not, because he's supposed to have, like, an on-again, on-again, on again, off again relationship with this other woman, and it's just a crazy story. I really liked it, though. And her um, imagery in the book, it makes you actually think you're there in Ireland at Christmas time. It's, like, really good. And it's not that long of a book. Like, I mean, it's shorter compared to the next um, Chesapeake, Sh Chesapeake Shore book I'm going to show you. So the next one in the series that I finished was this is the this is re a regular one it's not Christmas or anything. This is called The Summer Garden and this is supposed to be the last book in the series, but it isn't because there's like three or four more. And so it's kind of like weird how like they try to wrap things up in the book, but there's three or four more. So I'm like I don't know how that's going to go <laughs> when I read the next one. Once it's called it's, it's called the Summer Gardens by Cheryl Woods again. It's a Chesapeake Shores novel, and this book this is what it looks like. This book takes place after their um family holiday, and this is where the guy that um well I I don't know how you say her name. It's Mora M O I R A or something like that, and. That's the woman that, um, Luke O'Brien, that's the guy who is the O'Brien, the main O'Brien's cousin's cousin. Um, she's been trying to get with him for a long time because she wants to go to America to be with him. And her family really doesn't want to because she's like, well, what are you going to do in America? Because it's some place you've never been before, you know more about Ireland than you do about America, and you don't know if this guy is back together with his old girlfriend or not. And Gran still wants to be with this guy, so they both decide to come to Chesapeake Shores, and Gran ends up 
with this guy, and something else happens in the book, which I'm not going to tell you because it's a surprise, which I finally wanted to happen in the whole series. Let's just say that. Well, I guess not the whole series because the series didn't end yet. And it was a good book. I mean, I don't know why this was, like, the last one in the series because then she wrote, like, three or four more in the series. So I don't know what she, like, when I read the next one. The next one, the la the next two are like Christmas ones, so I don't know why they're Christmas ones. But I really want to know if she says, oh, I finished it, but I wanted to write more or whatever. I don't know. So this next book I'm going to show you is a book that I really did not like. I don't, I didn't even get into this book. It's by Carly Phillips, and it's called Hot Item. And this is what it looks like. It's about these three women, they're all sisters, and they grew up with their uncle because their parents died, and um, his, his uncle runs, their uncle runs this, like, sports agency kind of thing, and this thing comes out about one of the agents, and then it, it, instead of talking about that, it goes back and forth with these women, and I honestly just don't know, like, I just couldn't get into this book. I really didn't like it. There was too much drama going on in the first, like, hundred pages. Like, it was too hard for me to keep it on track. So, I didn't even finish that book. But, I always, um, if it's really, really bad, I really don't show you guys the book. But if I read, like, maybe a couple pages, chapters in it or not chat pages, but chapters in it, I do try to tell you guys if I like it or not. So, this book, it was an okay kind of book. I did read another book in this series um, last year. I think it was last year. And that book was better than this one. Um, this is a series called The Tales from Grace Chapel Inn. And it's called Sing a New Song. It's by Sunny Jeffers. This is what it looks like. And it's about these women who own this inn. I think they're all sisters. And they live... They go to this place to, um... These two... This woman and her mother go to this camp to learn, um... How to play music. And... Stuff like that. And the daughter, I think it's the daughter, ends up trying to fall in love with this man and stuff like that. And this other, the other girls are trying to get ready in the in the end for this scrapbooking meeting thing that they want to have. And it's because the one loves scrapbooking and she wanted to, to come up with an idea. So she's like, hey, let's do the scrapbooking thing. And the other sisters can't get behind it because she's like, who's going to come to this scrapbooking thing? It's not something that a lot of people are into or do. So it really wasn't that great of a book because nothing really exciting happened in it. I feel like it was just like a drama-free kind of book. Like when I read this, I thought it was supposed to be like, um, like, what am I supposed to? Oh, about like, like a mystery kind of thing. But... It really wasn't. I really didn't enjoy it. I mean, it was a nice book, and there is, um, this book is, like, in the inspirational kind of books where they're, like, they have lots of biblical quotes in it, and this one has a lot of biblical stuff in it, so if you don't like books that have biblical stuff in it or anything like that, I don't think you would like this book. I mean, I like them, because one of the other book, the other couple books I read, read, that are mysteries kind of um, go along with the biblical theme. Like there's quotes in it and they pray and stuff. But that's about it. Well, this one has a lot of biblical stuff in it. Or religious. I shouldn't say biblical stuff. I should say real religious stuff in it. Um, this is another. This is a book. It's in the series called Annie's Attic Mysteries. It's the unfinished. This is called the Unfinished Sonata. It's by K. D. McCree. And these books are always written by different women, and I don't know why they just are, this is what it looks like, and Annie finds this music box that her, I always get these confused, because there's another book in it, another series that I read where it's her grandmother and once a great aunt, I think this is the one with her grandmother, 
um, her grandmother left her this house in Stony Point, and when she died, and Annie lives there and stuff like that now, and she has, she found, finds this music box, and she notices in this music box that there's something jingling or jangling in it. So she's like, well, I have to investigate this. So she finds out that there's this letter and this um, composition musical piece. And she gets somebody to play it, and they realize that it's unfinished. So she wants to track down who owned this music box and why they didn't finish it. And it's a nice story. I really like um which finds out what happened to it and stuff. It's a really good book. I really like these. And they do come with like a built-in kind of bookmarker thing, which I really like. So I don't know if they use one of my bookmarkers. So this is the last book I have. And this is one that I didn't, I never read this series before. And I guess this is the, this is the first one in the series. I don't know. Um, I got all these books, except for the one I, the first one I showed you. I told you guys I got that from the Har Harlequin Rewards site. All these books came from um, a book sale or something like that, unless I tell you otherwise. So, I don't, I never, like, I, that's where I find, like, all these weird kind of books. <laughs> book sales or flea markets or whatever. And this is, this is a series called The Tea Room Mysteries. It's by Susan Page Davis. It's called The Tea Room for Two. And this is what it looks like. And it's about these two cousins, Elaine and, what's the other one's name? Elaine and Jan, and they come to this place in Maine, the small town, and they find this old Queen Anne house, and they decide to convert it into a tea room. I guess it's kind of like they're going to convert the bottom into a tea room, and I guess the top, yeah, the top into, like, their house. And they're looking for stuff to um, start decorating the tea room with and finishing it to get ready for their opening day. And they come across this teapot at this flea market place because they like to collect tea pots and stuff. And they come across this teapot and um, things start happening with it where this one person wanted it and the owner of the teapot wanted to get it back from them. Um, the teapot goes missing, um, they misplace it when they take it to a restoration place and they try to figure out why this is happening and they find out this teapot is very valuable and they find out that somebody took it and then they have to figure out why did they take it? Well, that's why they figure out why they took it and who it was and stuff. And it was a nice book. I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I mean, it's different. And I really wanted to get it because I like to drink tea. And I've never been to, like, a tea room or anything like that. But I really enjoy drinking tea. So that was a nice book. So if you ever read that book and maybe drink some tea with it, I don't know. I didn't do that, but... So, uh, yeah, so maybe I'll get some more of these books if I can find them. So that was my book review video for you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys next time with another video.